In these equations, we're going to solve logarithmic equations and inequalities where we have a different base on each side of the equal sign. Whenever you see that, the first thing that you want to do is take the log of both sides, the entirety of both sides. So on the left, that's going to be the log of 5 to the 2x minus 2. And on the right, that'll be the log of 4 to the x minus 5. Next, we can use the property of logarithms that says whenever you have an exponent of the main term, you can bring it out front. And we're going to actually apply that to both sides. So on the left side, that 2x minus 2, we're going to bring that out front and multiply it by the log of 5. On the right side, we have an x minus 5 that we're going to bring out front and multiply it by the log of 4. And what this does is we have log of 5 and log of 4, which are simply constants being multiplied by an algebraic function. So all we have to do from this point forward is distribute and do a lot of nasty algebra. I'm going to go quickly, but show you every step and narrate through. So we're going to distribute this log 5 to the 2x and the negative 2 on the left side. So we have 2 log 5x minus 2 times log 5 equal to same thing on this side, x times log 4 minus 5 times log 4. Then we want to get our x's on the same side, so we're going to move our constant here. We have our constant term on the left of negative 2 times log 5. We're going to add that to the right side so that we're left with just 2 log 5 times x on the left. And all of this is going to show back up. On the right. Let me line that here for you. Then we want to get this x term. We're going to subtract that from both sides so that we get that over to the left side. So we have this term here. This log 4 times x is going to be a negative log 4 times x on the left side. Finally, we're going to factor out our x on the left so that we have x times all of these other constants here. 2 log 5 minus log 4. Our right side doesn't change. And then finally, we're just going to divide both sides by this big chunk of constant that we have. 2 times log 5 minus log 4. We're just going to divide both sides by that whole big term. So that we're left with x equals 2 log 5 minus 5 times log 4 all over 2 log 5 minus log 4. Now, because there's addition and subtraction, and this doesn't nicely factor, we can't cancel out any terms, so we have to use all of the terms present here. I want to quickly punch this in my calculator. I've got it started. 2 times log 5 minus 5 times log 4, and then parentheses around my whole numerator, divided by, put parentheses around my whole denominator, 2 times log 5, close that, minus log 4. Close that and close my denominator. And that's going to give us the constant negative 2.02588. And left as a reduced decimal here, we're going to do negative 2.0259. Make this our last example here. We have 6 squared equal to the square root of 3 to the 5x to the second power. So very nasty many layers of exponential here. So we're going to go ahead and unwrap this a little bit. On the left, 6 squared, well that's just a constant, that's just the number 36. And on the right, we don't really have anything that changes immediately. But since we have the square root of this entire right side, we can go ahead and square both sides to get rid of that root. So if we square the left, we're going to be left with the constant 1296. Just punch 36 squared in your calculator. And on the right, we'll have the inner part, 3 to the 5x squared, remaining. Now we have an exponential with different bases. On the left, we have 1296 to the first power. We're going to just write that invisible first power here for us. And on the left, or on the right, we have 3 to the 5x squared. So if we take the log of both sides, we have the log of 1296 on the left. And on the right, we have the log of 3 to the 5x squared. So far, so good. 
now we're going to use the property of logarithms that says we can take this exponent, 5x squared, and move it as a coefficient out front of the log of 3. So let's go ahead and do that. Left side doesn't change. On the right side, we take that term down, multiply it as a coefficient out front times the log of the original term 3. Now, at this point, we have an x squared that we want to get by itself because we want to solve for x. And really, that's just being multiplied by some constants. So we have the constant 5, and we have the constant log 3. So let's go ahead and divide those out from both sides, which means that on our right, we'll have x squared, because that will be the only thing remaining after we divide through by 5 times log 3. And on the left, we'll have our log 1296 over 5 times log of 3. I'll just go ahead and highlight those in the same color so you see where that came from. Finally, this last step, in order to solve this, we just need to take the square root of both sides. We need to undo this square. Now, as we always remember, when we take a square root, we want to look at the plus or minus. Because we're dealing with logarithms, you might want to go back and check to make sure that this is going to work. However, I'm just going to note, point out that in our original equation, we actually don't have any logarithms. We have x squared in our original equation, so you will end up needing that plus or minus. So plus or minus the square root of log 1296 over 5 times log 3. To solve that, you use your calculator. Clear this out here. And you're going to have the second square root of log 1296 divided by the entire quantity 5 times log of 3. One of the trickiest parts is getting this all typed correctly in your calculator. Evaluate that and you're going to find x is equal to 1.1423. And always remember your plus or minus because both of these answers are going to work when you put it in your original term and square it.